Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me. In today's video, we're going to talk about cord locks. Now, a cord lock is... I don't think I've got one on my jacket. So a cord lock is the little plastic thing that goes on your cords and when you press it, it, you can tighten your cord and then it stays in place. These come in loads of different sizes. You've got your cylinder ones, you've got your oval ones and you've got your round ones. Okay then, let's get started. First head to your clips tool and draw a circle, pressing shift to create an equal circle. Now go to your gradient tool and change the fill to radial. Here I'm using the slider to get more white in it and then shorten the black. Select your circle and copy and paste using your command C and command F. Reduce the scale of this by holding shift and place off to the side. This is the beginning of your button on your cord stopper. Copy and paste this item again and move it slightly off to the side to create a slightly 3D effect. I'm resizing and flattening the circle so it appears at an angle. From here, copy and paste the lower circle of the button and move off to the side and increase the size slightly. Send the item to the back by pressing command and the close bracket. Now swap your fill and the line and remove the line using the box with the red line going through it. You can now begin to work on your cords. Draw a line using your pen tool. I'm going to curve it by clicking one anchor point, then clicking my second and dragging. Then I press enter to finish the line. Here, I'm increasing the weight of the stroke, and then I clip my round cap tool in the stroke toolbox. This makes the edges of the line rounded. Then select your line and go to Object, Path and Outline Stroke. Then using your eyedropper tool, pressing the eye to fill the cord with the fill. Move your rope to your ideal position. From here, copy and paste and move your rope to the desired location. From here, I'm rotating the cord and sending it behind the cord lock. Finally, I'm drawing a small circle and filling it in black. This is your hole for the cord. Here I'm just doing a few final tweaks and movements just to make sure it's perfect. Then this is your rounded cord lock finished. Now I'm going to show you how to draw a double cylinder cord lock. Find something that you want to replicate. Take your pen tool and draw around your object in sections and ensure all the curves and spaces are followed. Now use your pen tool and carve out the internal shapes, ensuring your lines overlap. Go to your Pathfinder tool and divide. Now follow the same process on the other items. Now the external lines are drawn. Now fill your object. Here I have filled two top sections with grey and the rest with gradients. I want the overall effect to look more metallic. Holding G and dragging the white line down to change the direction of your gradient. This takes a bit of experimentation to work out how to do it when you drag your line to where your gradient's going to go. Now the external lines are drawn and filled, arrange them by sending to the back what you don't want to see. Now I'm going to draw the cord. Use your pen tool to draw a line and go to the stroke box, change the weight to the thickness of the image. Still in your stroke, click the round cap button and remove any fills. From here, select your line, go to object, path and outline stroke. This outlines your cord. I covered this in my previous basic skills video. If you haven't seen this, click the link down below. Now click in the swatches and choose your fill and add your outline. Now you can change the scale of your fill. Click the scale tool, hover over your object and hold down the tilde key. This lets you amend the scale and by holding shift and tilde, this ensures that the fill is scaled equally. Send the cord back into your ideal place. Press command and the close bracket. Delete your background image and group your objects. To do a single cylinder cord lock, you can follow the same process or you can copy and paste the double one. And then using this, you can amend it to a single version. Delete your cord and the back holes. Here you can amend the cylinder for your ideal shape. I'm just making it slightly shorter because obviously it's no longer a double cord. Draw your new cord and follow the same as before. Select your lines, go to object, path and outline stroke. Press I to fill the cord, send your cord to the back and your single cylinder cord stopper is complete. Okay, so now we're going to do an oval cord lock. Here we're following the same process as before by drawing over an image of an object and then rearranging. Here either I'm manipulating the gradient. I first put it as radial, pressing G, 
This brings up the line and the circle. Click the black dot at the top to manipulate the shape and the dot on the left to manipulate the size. I do the same with the internal circle. This takes a bit of experimentation to work out how to do it when you drag your line to where your gradient's gonna go. Draw your new chord and follow the same process before by selecting your line and going to Object, Path and Outline Stroke. Press I to fill the chord. Once you have your chord stoppers drawn, you can apply them to your final drawings. Okay, so that's that. Now I know we're all really busy and if you haven't got time to draw it from scratch like I do, no worries, I've opened an Etsy shop where you can go and download the trims and details file and that way, once it's downloaded, you can apply all the different trims to your garments. This also comes with a range of different trims such as buttons, aglets, eyelets, draw cords, clips, so it's all on there for you. But if you want to draw them, I'll be covering the rest of them in videos going forward. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and please hit that beautiful red button to subscribe. It's a massive help. If you want to see more videos like this, leave the comments down in the section below. Please follow me on social media, Instagram, that's Anthony James London. There's no H in that Anthony. And click on my Etsy shop. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Tra, 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 tra. Bye.